ಶ್ರೀ ಗಣಪತಿ ಶಾರದ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಹೆರಿತಂ ರಘುನಾಥ ಶತಕೋಟಿ ಪ್ರವಿಸ್ತರಂ ಏಕೈಕಮಕ್ಷರಂ ಪುಂಸಾಂ ಮಹಾಪಾತಕ ನಾಶನಂ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೆಷನ್ ಆನ್ ಶ್ರೀರಾಮಚರಿತ ಮಾನಸ ವಿ ದ ಸ್ಟೋರಿ ಆಫ್ ಸೀತಾ ಸ್ವಯಂವರ ರಾಮ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಣ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ವಿಶ್ವಾಮಿತ್ರ ಅರೈವ್ಡ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಧನುರ್ಯಜ್ಞ ಲೊಕೆ ಅರೇನಾ ಆಲ್ ದ ಕಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸಸ್ ವರ್ ದೇರ್ ಟು ಪಾರ್ಟಿಸಿಪೇಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಧನುರ್ಯಜ್ಞ ಆಲ್ ದ ಸಿಟಿಸನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಿಥಿಲಾ ವರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದೇರ್ ಈವನ್ ಸೀತಾ ಟು ಅರೈವ್ಡ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಅರೇನಾ ಸೀಯಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ದ ಕಿಂಗ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಗೋ ರೌಂಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಪ್ರೊಕ್ಲೈಮ್ ಮೈ ವೋ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಪ್ರೊಸಿದೋಸ್ Uh, heralds who were eulogizing the race of king janaka proceeded on their mission there was not a little joy in their heart the heralds then uttered these polite words listen all princes with our long arms uplifted we announce to you king videha's vow the might of aram of the various princes stands as the moon while shiva's bow is the planet rahu as it were it is massive and unyielding as is well known to all even the great champions ravana and banasura quietly slipped away as soon as they saw the bow whoever in this royal assembly breaks today the yonder unbending bow of shiva shall be unhesitatingly and insistently wedded by videha's daughter and shall triumph over all the three worlds during the bow all the princes were filled with longing while those who prided on their valor felt very indignant girding up their loins they rose em- patiently and bowing their heads to their chosen deity they went ahead they cast an angry look at shiva's bow grappled with it with steady aim and exerted all their strength but the bow refused to be lifted those princes however who had any sense at all did not even approach the bow those foolish kings indignantly strained at the bow and retired in shamefully when it refused to leave its position as though it grew more and more roughly by more and more weighty by absorbing the might of arm of each successive warrior because the bow was unmoved by any of them Ten thousand kings then proceeded all at once to rise it, but it baffled all attempts at moving it. Shambhu's bow did not stir in the same way as the mind of a virtuous lady refuses to yield to the words of a gallant. All the princes made themselves butts of ridicule like a recluse without dispassion. helplessly forfeiting their fame glory and great valor to the bow they returned confused and disheartened the kings went and sat in the midst of their own company seeing the kings thus frustrated king janaka got impatient and spoke words as if he is in anger during the vow made by me many a king has come from diverse parts of the globe gods and demons in human form and many other heroes punch in fight have assembled but unfortunately none of them could able to succeed in even moving that particular bow and that naturally creates a despair in the hearts of janaka because he is still not finding a good suitor for his daughter who herself is having a great origin of birth and that requires someone who is capable of lifting the bow of shiva 
in order to be a suitor for her. Namaste Sharada Devi Kashmira Puravasini Vamaham Prathaye Nityam Vidya Dhanancha Dehime Bye. Shri Ramachandra Krupal Bhajamana Harana Bhava Bhaya Darunam Shri Ramachandra Krupal Bhajamana Harana Bhava Bhaya Darunam Shri Ram Shri Ram Shri Ram Shri Ram Shri 